<laughs> Welcome to Straight No Chaser. You're here with me, myself, Seems, Patrice, and Sharif. Here with Nile Ranger here today. What's going on, bro? Hey, man, hey. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. The man that can, the football man, you know. Like you said, in the media, sometimes for the wrong reasons, but. They kill me in the media, but that's how it is. It's like goal sometimes in life, man. Definitely. But um, obviously, you've been seeing what you've been doing. Obviously, you started your career at Crystal Palace. How did you even get into that? Like how, um, how did that come about? I remember I was about the age of like 11, 12, and um, I was playing in my school. And that they, um, I think a few of the scouts come down to the my school in Alexandra, around the corner from it, to be honest. Yeah, mm-hmm. but in Wood Green. And then um, there was a few Crystal Palace coaches and things coming down. I don't know why, but they come to our school. And obviously I got picked. When I got picked, I had to start training at Enfield like t- twice a week or whatever. That was like a next stage to get to the actual academy. Oh, to go through to Crystal Palace? Yeah, yeah. Oh, then right, um, okay. obviously they had games. that I, They told me to come for a trial game. And they had like games on a Sunday. And that, and obviously I used to always go to church, innit? Mm-hmm. Forced to church. But I was mm-hmm. wait, waiting for that breakthrough to go to football. like Because church, church was, it was boring. It was boring. <laughs> it was boring. It was boring. But obviously it's church. A bit religious, but yeah. <coughs> Obviously, it was good to obviously get away from all the hours in church and that like, go and play what I, what, like, what I love yeah, to do. Cool. And then, um, obviously, I was there. And then um, I was training for about two weeks, three weeks. And then they, they said, yeah, we want to sign you. Mm. But it was a buzz in it because I was thinking, rah, like, like, from Sunday league to this is, like, it's a step, yeah, innit? Way different. How, yeah, old was cool. you, how old was you at the time? Like, 12, 13, yeah. 12. They weren't paying you at this time, though, were they? What's that? So when you at, at twelve thirteen when you were playing for for these teams like Crystal Palace, yeah, they were, were not, they, were they playing not, you did? not first team of that, no, of course not. Okay. Twelve thirteen, just youth, youth team, team. Yeah, 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 of course, yeah. yeah. So I was playing, I was playing quite a bit, yeah. Was football something that you wanted to do, or is it literally you just thought it's landed in my lap? No, I was. Yeah, I was so just like, hungry every time I saw a ball. Like, Fresh trainers, whatever I'm kicking, like I'm kicking a ball. Like I always want to play a ball. I can so definitely relate to you that. Mm. Well, what about now? Like, do you still? You think you have that that same hunger, hunger. that you had when you lost were 11? It. To be fair, I, I lost it. I lost it. To be fair, but obviously, this what I do in it. Like, yeah, 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 I play football. I love it. Like I go in and out. I love it, which ain't good, but it's how it goes sometimes. Like when things ain't going your way, and when things ain't going your way, like like you got the media. I don't care about the media really. Like mm. that, I thrived off the. The haters, if you want to call yeah, them, yeah, criticize me, innit? Yeah, critics, but it's just so much things that like, you get judged. Like, people, like, even when I'm driving my car, I get stopped like 12 times a day by police, like, mm, just because really? of what the, the news published. Like, you know what I'm saying? The media just tarnish you, but it's how it goes, man, yeah. sometimes. Do you think it came too easy? That's probably why you kind of fell out of love with it. Cause Could've, yeah. Maybe because if you worked a bit harder for it, then maybe mm. that passion would have stuck. It's, it's true. I, that, I said that to lots of my friends, my family. I said, oh, I think it actually come easy for me, like mm. silver spoon sort of thing. But it's like, well, I always knew I'd make it somehow because I, mm. I always had a gift, but it's just getting my, the whole package sort of thing, my head getting around it and stuff. Like you got other things, people distracting you, going out. Mm. There's obviously going out, there's girls. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, you know, I had a case of that Trust thing. Me, girls, you, know you get girls, yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's everything, like so much thing. Mm. So, like, from straight after Crystal Palace, obviously, you moved on to Southampton quite quickly. Yeah. So. No, nah, not that did... quick. Not, I went to mm. Barnet Pro Tech. Oh, you went Barnet Pro Tech. I went to Barnet Pro Tech. Some college sort of football mm. thing that what was going on. and then, But obviously, there was a Youth Alliance squad and there was quite a few of us. There was, like, even Raquel there, but there, he was mm. at Pro Tech, innit? There was a few, like, always at Pro Tech, a few of my friends, but not everyone got to that. Stage and um, yeah. obviously you saying you was better than Raquel and them. Boy, you have to ask them. Yeah, you have to ask them. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah boom. Mm. Um, I had um, a few clubs watching me from Pro Tech. I played one game for uh, against Southampton. I remember being on the bench in it, mm. and obviously you got to pay a bit of money with um, Pro Tech in it before the season starts. Uh, yeah. Subs. Not like I don't know if you could basically like subs yeah, yeah but for yeah, the whole year yeah, sort yeah. of thing oh, yeah, 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 yeah everything yeah, yeah. so you're just nice in it but mm-hmm. okay. some people paid some people didn't obviously but I paid in it but obviously um Southampton we had a game against Southampton I remember being on the bench thinking oh, why not playing like I think I know I could be I'm better than most men on the pitch now yeah I come on score two obviously after that the coach come on our coach come on and said um yeah um, there's a few players that what what Southampton are interested in in, uh, and I was like rah like I scored two it could be me like like, (laughs) I remember sitting down like butterflies in my stomach Mm. and then I was just looking at others like 
it's me, you know, in my head, <laughs> I'm looking at it, I'm like, it's actually so you, me, you isn't knew it? it. And yeah. other men are thinking, oh, is it me? Like, ooh, like, but obviously it's like goals, isn't it? But the excitement all the way back. And I remember the coach telling us, like, yeah, it was him and whoever who was to get a try on for Southampton. I remember I went up there, I was like, rah, like, so what, what happens now? I was confused, innit? Yeah, yeah. Because I've done all this travelling trials everywhere, but Southampton actually wanted me to sign. Like, I went up there for two days and I was like, this ain't a trial, you know, you're, mm. you're going to sign for us for two years scholarship. And I was actually earning money now. Mm. Like, I was like, how, how much did you earn? 16, 95 pound a week. Yeah, that's decent. And then, yeah. like, <laughs> I'll and kick then, a yeah. for a night. <laughs> Obviously, and I was living, 16 as well. Mm. Yeah, living in a lodge and that. So I was like, rah, like, I can buy Air Max, I can buy yeah, this yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm nice, you get me? And obviously, um, Whilst I was at Southampton, I was scoring goals, enough goals, enough mm. goals, enough goals. But in the lodge, I kept getting a bit of trouble because the lodge was with all the players in it. Like okay. the young so players. that's obviously where all the players stayed, yeah, right? Yeah, the young players. Mm. But obviously the first team has had their flats yeah, away own, yeah. and was in there. But I eventually got kicked out, innit? There's too much going on, so they gave my own flat. Why did you get kicked out? Just doing some madness going out. Mm. Like, you when know, I shouldn't be like... Yeah, yeah. So you didn't stick to your curfew and stuff no, like that? I didn't. I but surely, like, like, obviously everyone there is around the same age, so everyone's trying to get out as well. And enjoy their youth, like yeah. I, don't, I don't understand Obviously, why. Obviously, but they're somewhat uh, professional, pro professional, like putting in head from young, and it's yeah, hard to do yeah, that. Yeah, but yeah. me, I've never been a full professional, even up to now. Like it's it's not the best. I'm not the best professional, but mm. I try. But obviously at Southampton, um, it was hell. Like I was just causing so much havoc. Like and they didn't have no like mentors there or of course nothing like but that. It's whether you want to listen to them or not, isn't it? Yeah. So and you, you didn't want you didn't yeah, want to listen. Yeah. So I just still going out over. They got my own flat. Me and my mum moved in there. Then I went to jail, obviously, for 11 weeks. They still said they got the academy director come visit me in jail. I said, yeah, obviously, we want you to stay with us. Mm. So, yeah, they're right. Yeah, they're like, Academy director comes and sees yeah, you. Yeah, they get me. So, obviously, I said, yeah, I'm going to come back out and do my thing. Yes, you get me. I felt good, like, coming out of jail and then going there. And then um, I got kicked out eventually because I, I stole so much kit. Why did you I go to jail? Kit. Because obviously, allegedly, we heard uh. that it was to do with some kind of. Is it, is, what was the actual reason behind? It? Is there a reason why they couldn't have kept you on? Or no, no, no. I just I was young, stupid, mm. following the wrong crowd. Why were you stealing did, kit? No, not what about why the jail? Why were you stealing the kit? About, going to jail? No, or? no, no. The the reason as to why you got sentenced. Yeah. Oh, at, jail at Southampton. or Southampton? No, because you went to jail during you was Southampton whilst I was contract. Southampton sure, contract. So what, jail, so what was it? Me. Why you went to jail? What oh, was it robbery. For? Did some street robberies. Oh, okay. Obviously, it's, it's not good. But I was young, so yeah, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. I, sure. thought, that was a, I thought that was a thing to do and yeah, make yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Obviously, but you were already making money. You was making ninety five pound a week. No, like, not then. The mm. case happened before. I had. I got into the case before Southampton. Oh, okay. Do you understand? I had the case on run, so oh, Southampton so. come after the. And then why you I got the, signed? Yeah. Then it I came back and caught up on Obviously, I had to go back to court. Obviously. Okay. Yeah, I did explain it, but yeah, I had to go back to court. Mm. Whilst I was at Southampton, I remember oh. the coach coming to me like, oh, you got something you want to tell me? I was like, no, nah, nothing, like, nothing at all. Mm. But the woman at the lodge goes through my letters, innit? So oh, okay. she she looked at it and said, oh, look. Is that not a bit of invasion of like, privacy? Or? Obviously, but she don't care, innit? So she mm. just obviously told them. Was she your nanny? Um, yeah, she looked after the players in the lodge. So did she have the authority to go through you guys' stuff? Like Probably not, but she she done it. Did they not know about, like, prior cases before you joined. So like, do they not do like, obviously like equivalent to uh, a job would do like a CRB kind of thing. So when they when they scout you and then bring you on and say, yeah, blah, I'm like, I want you for my club. Do they not check like- Background. Like, what, what, 100%, but obviously it's, it doesn't matter if you're doing what, it, what you have to do on the pitch then. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's a business, I promise you it's a business. So it's like, that's how they see it, a business. Or money they see it as, I guess. So how long was you at Southampton before you moved on, effectively? Yeah. Just one oh, year? Yeah. So who did you move on to after that? Um, Swindon. Went to Swindon. Obviously, no, I got kicked out of Southampton. Mm. Had a meeting with the manager and... Um, who was The chairman. Not the chairman, no, the manager. And the academy director and the coach. Mm. And then um, after that, they kicked me out because I stole kit and to just bring back to London for my friends and mm. why are you stealing kits? <laughs> I just thought I, just, I thought I want to bring my people there. Did they not did they not give you kit for free like? Yeah, but mm. I took the mick of it, innit? Uh, uh, you think they would have given it to you? Not all of what I was taking, not. But something. A few things, but when I wanted everything. So. <laughs> <laughs> I hit London, but they have my CCTV. Bit, so. no, but oh like, shit! If I had a friend yeah. that was in business and he can get free stuff, I might want to. Yeah, but would you encourage him to? Yeah, no, I hear that. So, the, like, my people then could just play with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which I kind of regret, but. 
it worked out for me kind of and then it just it's just up and down with my so do you think leaving Southampton was for the better maybe in hindsight I think or? so yeah definitely definitely well, you moved on my to agent said that so I went to Swindon mm-hmm. and I played a few games for Swindon pre-season how long was you outside of a club though like did you go straight to Swindon yeah, from Swindon pre-season so okay. since pre-season started I went to Swindon I was training with the first team and stuff I was like straight seven, away 17 just turned 17 Keep, like scoring kept scoring kept scoring that was paid as well yeah no that wasn't not not yet, not just yet. Okay. It was a trial sort of thing. Then they offered me a, a deal and I said, nah, if it's not the best, but I need to do something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so yeah. Young, yeah, yeah. So young. How long were you in trial for? Um, like two, three weeks. Oh, that's not bad. No, that's not that or maybe two weeks. But in terms of the football play, like, I'm a bit confused because sometimes, obviously, people that aspire to be professionals, mm. they think you sign and then you get you start the money starts rolling in. How does it actually work? Did they sign you or they trial you and then... Depends Everyone. if they've seen you play. If you're established, sort of thing, mm. you obviously don't do trials. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't establish. I just got kicked out of Southampton. Like mm. this guy could just be a like a anything. Like he could mm. be could have switched up. He could be on this, gone back for a bit. He's had a break. He's with his friends on this road or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So they, it's a trial, and um, obviously I had done well in the trial. So they gave him a chance. They didn't offer the best money because I was young, but I'm I said I'm gonna you. take it. I think it was like. <coughs> Um, 200, 200 pounds, okay. 200, 200 pounds a week. Mm. That's decent as well, still. And you're 17. Yeah, but I, I, I didn't mind it, innit? Because I wanted the club. I heard a few players come from there and went big to, onto bigger things. So I said, yeah, I'm on. yeah, yeah. But then I played a reserve game, and then um, my agent said to me, and Burger King went Burger King after I scored. He said to me, Oh, look, listen, like Newcastle want you now. Dennis Wise has been on the phone. I said, nah. He's the one that brought you to it. Yeah, I was saying, like, I was saying like, nah, it's too, nah. Newcastle's too much of a big club. I'm not on it. They'll be good players. I just can't, let me stay here. You said you're not on it. Oh, seriously? Yeah, yeah I said I'm not on it. And he was like, what do you mean? You're not like, you're definitely going. Like, de-. I said, no, I'm not going, I'm not going. And then I got a phone call from Dennis. I was like, you'd be mad not to come down here, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I said, yeah, was, was that just because you, like, you didn't feel confident enough? Um, yeah, I thought it. I knew I was good enough in it, but I just said, no, nah, I'm comfortable now. I don't like this moving around thing. I yeah, really yeah, like yeah. It. So um, I felt comfortable and I was telling him, no, I don't want to go. Then Dennis Wise for me. He was going in like for ages, like, if you be a madman not to come down there. I said, let me just try it out, forget it, let me just try it out. Like, but the way I left Swindon is I packed my, my things, because we had to watch, wash our own kit and stuff. I packed yeah, my stuff yeah. and I left it then, I just left. Yeah. Didn't say nothing. Later. So they were vexed, <laughs> but obviously. Um, you're a little bad boy, aren't you? No, no, no. Didn't even say bye or oh, no, nothing. No, I had to. That's what my agent said. Do yeah, he yeah, said yeah. do that. Put your kit and leave. Don't say nothing. Mm. And just tell your close friend, like your friends, and we'll on message them and say, oh yeah, I'm going or whatever. Then um, obviously, I think Southampton still had like something like a registration yeah. for me or something. Is that like a but clause I went to, or just? I don't know. They, they held. They held something for. All oh, like, right. Okay. Mm. And then, I signed a two-year scholar, and. Um, I remember going to Newcastle, bad ended up doing well. Like mm. them offering me, like saying, "Yeah, we won't offer you a deal." I was like, "Raw, like it's Newcastle, you get me?" Kevin Keegan was there at the time watching me. There's a few things like, but obviously I felt good there. Like I was like, "Yeah, it's far, but it's Newcastle." Mm. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Top, yeah. Top, 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 so, so at that age. So yeah. when Dennis Wise phoned you, how did you feel? Because if I don't even, I can't remember. I was just like, I was just like, listen, like, I'm not really, just, I don't care. Yeah, like, mm. like, I don't care. I want to stay soon. Mm. So I was a bit mad, but so nice. did you and your family move to Newcastle or what, no, go down your ones? Just me. Just me. Well, well, what was that like? Weeks. Obviously, young, like in a big city, predominantly white as well. Mm. Like, what was it like? I was in digs. It wasn't the guy was quite strict as well. I remember him. He was strict. He's just always just on like too much. The manager saying, at that point. Yeah, like Who's no, the not the manager. I'm talking oh. about in the digs. Oh, but okay. at the manager at the point, I think it was, it was Keegan. Yeah, it was Keegan. Yeah, it was Keegan, man. He was good, though. He, he's, he's just like to um, players like, oh, yeah, that some boy, some youngster with a gold tooth, black boy. Like, <laughs> decent, he's a good player. Like, da, da, da. They're not from then. I was training with the first team. I was like, because there was two ends academy on the first team, and I was tra- like walking across the pitch all the way to the first team every day because he wanted me to train with the first team. Mm. And then I just remember he kept, like, he put me involved in against Coventry, League Cup. I was on the bench. Then a week later, like, this following Saturday, Coming up was, yeah, you're on the bench against Arsenal. I was like, what? Yeah, that's crazy. Mad. I was like, what do you mean? Mad. I was about to eat breakfast. I couldn't even eat. Like, <laughs> I just stopped my food. I remember stopping butterflies. my food. I was glad to eat. I was so hungry. And I said, I can't even eat this. Hey, bench against Arsenal, what? You sure? He said, yeah, bench against Arsenal. I was on the bench against Arsenal. Then it just took off from there. Like, I just started mm. playing. Um, championship was when I 
when they got relegated to championship season when I really got sure. my, yeah, I got a chance to show what I could mm. do. And the, the first time you got a chance to show what you could do, that's the was that the year you guys got promoted to the Premiership while she was at Newcastle? Um, no, Championship, but then mm. we went up and then I thought I was going to go on loan or something. Oh, okay. But they said, no, we're going to give you a... Because they had strikers coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, like, all them bar, like, season, everything mm. coming in. So, at the time, it was hard. Leon Best, there's a few coming in. So, I was thinking, oh, I'm just going to have to go on loan. I'm young. Yeah, yeah. But I did I did well, so I stayed, I kept my place at sure. coming off the bench. I was the most you sub in the Premier as well, so... Yeah. Yeah, it was good at the time. So, which strikers was you trying to be? Like, who was you that struck... Aspiring to be, should I say? I don't know if I looked up to anyone like country. that, but obviously I got strikers I've seen, I think, yeah. They're about this, like, maybe in my, like, tyranny. Uh, mm. Ian Wright, yeah, I always looked up to Ian Wright for some reason as well, mm. like, he had, like, that, the instinct, that goal instinct. Like, See, I thought with Ian, with Ian Wright, he can relate to guys coming yeah. from our background. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. He used to follow me a few times as well, like, trying to push me and that, like, but... No, it goes. Everyone's trying to push you, but it's whatever you want to do it or not. Do you want to do it though? Yeah, like I said, I lost my hunger for it, but I'm on it, man. I just need a chance, like a pro- like a proper good chance, a good but platform. What are you doing right now? Like, are um, you playing with anyone? Are nah. you playing football at all? Um, not nah, from time to time, I play football, go gym, whatever. But um, I'm at Blackpool at the minute. Mm. But the way my contract's up is, I don't even want to really get into it like that. But obviously, mm. I just like with the manager and stuff like I wasn't things wasn't clicking like and obviously the manager's good guy and everything everyone was good on the team but it's just the way they, they dealt with the deal it was a bit off. so you're still with them still so with them I did a bit of research on you as mm. you do yeah. um, it says that you get charged for every time you don't show up yeah they're fine fine I'm not, I'm not on a lot of money to be honest there they, they really took the mi- like they put me on a minimum wage mm. and it's pay as you play so obviously I said, you know, what? it's a platform. I was supposed to go Leeds before that. I was supposed to go and play. Walk to the club, Leeds. yeah. Mm. Yeah, championship. I was mm. supposed to go there, and, and that didn't fall through. So I said, you know, what? I need to get a championship and just show if I can yeah, do it. Yeah. So I went to Blackpool, mm. took whatever, mm. and I tried to do what I had to do, but it just didn't work out like I, I thought it would. When you and say it didn't work out, what does that you mean? That's you things mean? like missing out. Like I wasn't getting in the squad. I was sure. like, because of attitude yeah. and stuff. Mm. I was like, bro, oh, like. How am I supposed to even fill my fridge on this if you mm. can't, if you can't, you get, know what I'm saying, if I'm not playing, even though I knew I should be playing, but it's not how it goes, football's fun. So, so far, how many games have you played for Blackpool? I couldn't tell you, you know, to be honest, maybe, I don't know, That's I actually don't know, maybe 14, 13 maybe, I don't know, 12, 13, 14. Smallest yeah. number. Are you, and are you still using the same agent that you were using from I when you were? Agent, to be honest, another agent. Oh yeah, really? Finding clubs yeah. in by itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's okay. basically. But I've, obviously, there's a, there's agents there, but you just don't know who to really trust like that. But mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But obviously, they help. Agents help and can push push you through certain gates. Yeah. All right. So going back to when you were with Newcastle. So you were 18, 19. 17. 17. So you're not. You're 17. Get a big deal. Obviously, money's coming in. I won't say big. I'm saying all right, though. I'm all right. All right. So when would you say you were at the, the point where you were making your most? When I played in the Prem. When I signed a five and a half year deal. On the Newcastle. On the Newcastle. Yeah. On the Newcastle. And did that? Do you think that that went to your head or like like what was that? What was that like yeah. being young? Being young, think it's gonna last forever. Like it's, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. Like. So it's gonna be like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like going out, like I said, doing all the all the things you can think of. Like what it wasn't good that I was doing. Like you know what I'm saying? Like going out all the time for, like, games, reserve games, doing dumb stuff like that. Like, I was thinking, all right, what am I doing? Like, I've got this chance. I need to take it. I'm from yeah, yeah, the yeah. end. Like from mm-hmm. wood. Like the ends. But in, like, surely, like that happens to to every young player that comes from like a similar background, and they go out and they fall into money like that. And yeah, like, but it's common, like, I don't but see like why was it so different in your case? Like even now in the media, there's players, and we're obviously not going to mention no one yeah. that are doing a bit of a madness. Mm. But like, surely that's normal. Uh, it uh, it depends, innit? It depends. But but with me, they just sort of just tarn- I got tarnished. They just tarnished. Media jumped on everything and just made everything worse. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. It really was so. It's how it goes, though. With me, it's like they just. Anything they got me in it, I don't know. Like they just got me for anything bad. Listen, let us know. Like you get me, just 
and we'll give you money or whatever it is, but the media can kill me. Any little thing, any little thing, I could drop rubbish on the floor. And, well, and yeah, that still goes on? Of course, it will. If I, but I've kept myself, like, my nose clean, like, you know, and stayed out of trouble, so they can't come with nothing. So what's next for you in terms of football? Um, I don't know yet, right now, to be honest. I'm, I'm going to get back into it, for sure. Mm. When are you going to get back into it? Next season. <coughs> Next season. This coming, this, yeah, this, it's, it's, coming it's coming to the end of the season, but next season I'm going to get back into it for sure. Who would you like to play for? Is there any specific teams you can say, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get into this team? Like this I can say or, a bag of teams, but yeah. what I want or what, what's realistic? Both. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Obviously, you want to play for the top teams, yeah, Chelsea, yeah. Man United, like mm. Arsenal, but yeah. that's not how it goes all the time. But I've played, obviously, against them and I have did all right against them, but... Yeah, it's, I mean, I remember yeah, one game, I actually remember. Yeah. I think Kishelny was trying to mark him. Mm. He did a little Cheers. step, step. <laughs> yeah, come on. He did a little step, step, went past him, pulled your shirt. That was at Emirates. Yeah, yeah. After that, I was buzzing as well. Mm. Like, oh, my team, Arsenal, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I played yeah. well against them a few times, but like I say... It's oh, you support Arsenal? Arsenal, of course I do, yeah. Oh, Arsenal, yeah. yeah. This. You've had a few good times as well. Like, you had a standing ovation. After yeah, playing yeah. 84 minutes or something like that. I think that was against Leicester. How did that make yeah, you feel? It was, yeah, it was against Leicester. Good feeling, I was 18. Like, that must have been fantastic. I remember, like, I got a match and the guy came to me, this guy, I can't remember his name, but he said to me, yeah, you're a man of the match. I was like, what? Mm. <laughs> was like, yeah, man of the match. I did an interview and I, was, like, I remember I thought it was live, but mm. I made a mistake and I was mm. like, oh, uh, oh, can we start again? I remember yeah. it. <laughs> and it was, they all looked at each other like, like, is he mad? Like, yeah. <laughs> but I just carried on. Like, I just said, oh, oh, can we say? He said, lucky, yeah, we, we didn't do it live. Like, yeah, then, yeah. Then I just yeah, yeah. started again, but, like, I composed myself this time. Sure, yeah, so okay, what, being... The, sorry, nah, I got you. When you're coming off the pitch and then people are clapping, you're getting that stand over, how does that actually feel? Because loads so of people want to be in that position. I can't describe Like, it's just bars, isn't it? You just get... Mm-hmm. Buzz, like a different type of buzz. I'm sure you really feel like I've actually, I've got fans. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Feel important, you feel like, yeah. oh, like, oh, people are actually like, like, like they're actually <laughs> showing that they care. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're giving their ratings to potential, like, so, it's just good, it's a it's different buzz, but like I said, when I'm on the pitch, I can't really hear nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you're on a bench or something, you can hear certain things, but obviously when you get standard ovation, you just... Being a um, man of the match, like, what do you, would you get for that? Or what did you get for that on that, that occasion? I think I got an award. Should you get that ball? Nah, sometimes. Sham- not all the time. Oh, okay. Do you, not get, always, do you get the ball? I always thought you got like a, a raise or a bonus or... No, no, no. No, very well. De- it depends, you know. If you, you can get anything in your contract, you know. Oh, really? So if some people get man in a match, then yeah, you get a bonus. But it depends what you put in your contract. Okay. So, like, a bit of a personal question, but like, how much would you say you've made? Like, I'm just trying to think about what I what I would do if I made <sighs> anything more than like a hundred thousand. I think I'd lose my mind to be honest. No, <laughs> obviously I've I've made a lot. I've made a decent amount of money. Obviously I've got that investment as well. Like what, got a house, what investment? Got a house. Got a house. Okay. Mortgage, so that's that's alright. Is it? that that's, in, that's my investment? In London? Huh? In London? No, Newcastle. Newcastle. Right, bedroom house. Cheap right there. Yeah, it's the yeah, yeah. yeah, of course. It's, too, it's nice out there as well, so right. And then obviously I've got a savings account, mm. but I can't touch on 25. That's that's about it though, but I okay. did all right, man. It's all right. Good choice. But obviously, I'm not, I don't want to give up. Don't want to give up now. I want to keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Keep building. I mean, when you were at Newcastle, I, I felt personally that this was you. Like, this is your time. I mean, Roy, um, not, Andy Carroll got sold, so that was one less striker. Mm. Were you still there at, at, at yeah, the and, Andy Carroll's there? So yeah, he was, got sold. I was thinking that's when I got my chance there. Yeah, that's when I got a sort. Yeah. So I was thinking this is now. now. Yeah, this yeah. is now your time. Mm, I remember he got injured. I um, he didn't get injured. He went to Liverpool obviously and then a um, few strikers getting injured but I was sort of getting a my chance. I was getting my chance but I was still acting up like mm. off the field so there be times where I'd go out, get in trouble, get arrested maybe. Doesn't it frustrate and I wouldn't be in the squad. When you yeah. keep acting up and like... Of course, of course. But at the time, you don't think. Like, you're not thinking, oh, yeah, I'm going to go out yeah. and then someone's going to come up to you and try... Yeah. Then yeah. you just end up yeah. just doing something. But it something. keeps happening, happening, happening. <coughs> I know, it's just my... It's, I don't know what that is. I, that's what I was thinking. Like, that's why I said, right, every time I go back to London, I'm going to church. I've got to go to church. Because yeah, yeah. I don't understand why it's, this happened to me. I don't, don't yeah, get it. Yeah. So you don't, you don't put any blame on yourself at all? Of course I do. I'm to blame. I'm definitely to blame, but obviously I just don't, I can't help myself. Obviously, it's just, that's what I'm saying. I need Maybe I need a church or something because I don't know what it is or on me, why. You don't 
like, it's bad luck, but no, because it's but one thing after another just keeps going. I'm like, raw, like, why? Why me? Yeah. You get me? You're thinking, like, yeah. why is this Must happening? Be some sort of bad luck, or some type of, yeah, yeah. So, what's That's it like? What's it like crazy. being you, like, trying to go raving? And, like, is it a thing where you go up to the door and they're like, raw, yeah, no, Ranger, some, I'm coming for free? Or some people, some people, but it's, everyone's funny, and it's, yeah, you can't really tell what's gonna happen. Like, but I don't, I'm not that guy who'll say, yeah, I'm now a Ranger, oh, yeah, I, got a, yeah, I did yeah, this yeah. and that. Get me, I played here, so I'm going to go to the door. Yeah, yeah, That's not me, I just humbled it, innit? Like, get me, if I can do that, and I'm not going to go and look like an idiot at the door, like a guy yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like, get out of here, or, yeah, come, I'm not that guy, innit? Like, and are you still approached for, like, pictures and, like, signatures? And... Yeah, some, odd occasion, yeah. Okay. Like, if I go shopping. Is that not like... weird when, you, I mean, we're coming from a similar background, so yeah. when someone's coming up to you saying, oh, no, please sign my mm. shirt, and how, how does that make you feel? That must be really It's wrong. a bit weird. It felt, it felt... I'm used to it now, though, to yeah. be honest. But obviously, it's like when it was first happening, I was like, hey, did you see that person come up to me? Like, <laughs> hey, did you see me sign that? You get me? It was all of that. But now I've just got used to it. Like, yeah. Does it still crazy. happen now? Yeah, odd occasion. Like I said, odd occasion time it happens time to time. But it's good when you see that like, when you're in London, you yeah. see like the youth come up to you, like, like they all come up to you, are you on our range? Like, mm-hmm. then you realize, like, like, you're actually known. Like, yeah. you get me? So you need to make an example. Like, but there's in times like, I'm a good example for kids in it as well, like, because I've not gone down the right path always, but like, man, still here, you know what I'm saying? I've still got contracted, I've still got a club, mm-hmm. still got time, even though it's running out, I've still got time. So it's good for kids to see that as well. Yeah, and I think it's good for them to see you actually. I think kids actually want to see you play. Yeah, 100%. Cool. Score that goal and say, yeah, because I'm sure they got t shirts with your names on it and that, and they mm, haven't seen some, you play for a while. Probably, yeah. Some probably, yeah. And obviously, like I say, they'll put it on my Instagram, Twitter. They see the abuse. They see I have have played football before, and they think like, right, he's from the it, like he's from the ends, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I can do it, like mm. I, if he if he can do it, why can't I? You get me? So yeah, it's good for inspiration. Yeah, yeah, inspiration. Sure. So. How do you deal with like the hate? Because obviously, you've got like people. Yeah, you got That's people making work. people <laughs> making <laughs> videos, and we're talking like That's ten minute work. videos. That's you got people work. writing blogs, websites. Like mm. it's mad. And how do you how do you deal with it? Do you just like block it out and not go on there? Yeah, or? So just, that's a buzz off it. Like I get thrived. Like I said, isn't it? That's it's light work, proper light. Like that don't bother me. Yeah. Some yeah, people crumble good. and just, but I've never been built to crumble like that. So, so that goes. You see, so do you ever see any of these people that write the, the craziness? No, it's like probably give me a hug and a kiss <laughs> on my cheek or something. Like you know, these that guys, like, you know. isn't it? So. Get me on the internet, internet warriors, man. But it's so all right. In terms of the going back to the Newcastle, how, how did you guys part ways? Because I'm not really, mm. I'm actually, we actually don't know the story. Yeah, it's like a or blank spot. It's, it's like, yeah, it's yeah. Like it was a mutual a agreement, thing, apparently. Yeah, mutual. It was, yeah. it was. But a few things are happening. Like, like I was going out. Like I said, getting in trouble and off the field issues. So it was a behaviour thing again. But I kept getting meetings, <coughs> meetings, building up meetings. You get like a warning, the written warning. Mm. Then it's like, but they were proper, like strict with it because. Mm. The things way things are going, it's like they wanted to sort of push me out, sort of thing. But I was, I was Newcastle had one of my best times, like the years I had up there, the best one of the best times in my life. So, do you honestly believe that they were trying to push you out though? Because I think it seems like they've yeah. embraced you a lot. Of course, they, the they helped, yeah. they helped, of so. course, they helped me. But it got to the stage where it's too much now, now that's what it was, isn't it? I've done too mm-hmm. much, so it's like we like you. We got so much time for you. We got love for you. Everything like seriously, you done like your good talent coming up, but you're not doing things right. So, I have to let you go. Yeah, so why go. Why do you apply the change, man? Trust me, it's easier yeah, said than done. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. It's just like bugging me. I'm just I like, come my, on. Obviously, I had. <laughs> obviously, yeah. I was just thinking, that was yeah. you, man. I would have just been like, I, I think a nah, lot. Nah, yeah, see, but I regret. It, obviously, like I always say, I always say it in interviews, everything. I regret it because if I had that chance again, I wouldn't. Mess around. I had but a few still senior players chance. say to me, "Yeah, like, I think like you, you still have the capacity to build it, but yeah. obviously you keep getting in more trouble, and so it's like you're mm. not serious enough to go back, kind of thing." Of course, I know. That. And maybe you getting mm. in that trouble is actually def- deterring you from actually going back because mm. you got all that other stuff on your mind and you're not thinking about football. You're thinking mm. about the negative could things. Be. Could be still. Could be, but I feel like this is turning into a coaching session. <laughs> <laughs> could be still. Could be, but you know what? Like I say, I'm just gonna start fresh next season. Just start fresh and all going a war and doing all that. People don't know the situation. They just be like, oh, it's a war again. He's doing this, but it's certain situations going on. No one knows this full picture. Can't see the full picture. So. Do you think there's a way you can keep your private life on the down low <coughs> and separate no. from the football? 
course, man. There's so much professionals like Paul Scholes. He used to go to train. I heard from a few yeah. close people like you just go train, proper professional, and just go home to his family and go football. Just thinking football. Mm. You can have fun and football. still have a job as well. Because at the end of the day, football is your job. You can still go out, do mm. your thing, enjoy yourself. Yeah, but it's hard. But you're someone famous. like me, like I get targeted. The guy could come up to me and be drunk and say, "Oh, like if I'm enjoying my night out with a family, mm. like oh yeah, you this or you that." There's, mm. a, there's some mm. weird people like that in this world. Trust me, you get. Yeah, me? I so, think I think sometimes people take football a bit too deep and too so like you passionate. disrespect their team. It's like yeah, so yeah. then yeah, it's so like then they could them. maybe throw it. That's not, I'm just saying like. For example, like throw eggs at me while I'm out dinner with my family, or I'm yeah, gonna that's react. Mad. Yeah. I'm gonna react. That's not normal. Would you say you have an anger problem? Um, don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, that's a hard one. To, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, every, yeah, short everyone, everyone has short, a limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. short tempered still. All right. So after you, you was at Newcastle. You did. Swindon dirty because obviously you left the bag there and just <laughs> left. That, that was young. Did, Remember, how, I went back to Swindon yeah, again. You know? I was gonna say, how did you get back there? Like, why did they um, agree to take you? After I left all of that? Newcastle and then I was scrambling for clubs that like, scrambling. No one really wanted to touch me or whatever because of that situation. And um, I still had the rape case going on as well, ongoing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah when yeah, a girl yeah. accused me, we'll of that. touch so, on that. Yeah, when a girl accused me of that. So what I'm trying to say is, teams don't want nothing to do with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nothing to do with that. So. I just had to, I was struggling, but obviously Swindon put their faith in me, gave me a chance, and even I messed that one up as well. But it was good going there. I scored a few goals, and it was fun going back there. Yeah, you did well at Swindon, but I don't like I don't understand why they decided to take you back, knowing that you were there before and you left nah, them such that a was, bad. I was yeah. young, like you know, when you're young, like too young. So it was, and they've already seen what I could do. So yeah, yeah. they said they yeah, bring him back. Why not? So, and why did you end up leaving there again? Oh, um, just a little issue I had. I was on a. Yeah, the, um, <laughs> yeah, I just had a little issue. Just an issue I kicked off my door and stuff on a drunk one. Yeah, man. Yeah, Surely crazy. you're allowed to kick off your own door, though. Nah, man. There's a few more. There's a few more things, but yeah, that they didn't want to kick me out. To be honest, but we just had to come to an agreement because there's too much going yeah, on at the time. Yeah. 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 I mean, in terms of, I mean, I touch on it. In terms of the kicking door scenario, mm. what exactly happened? Because obviously there's footage out there, mm. and people saw you kick the door down, and then. Mm. The physical altercation you got mm. with the girl. What exactly happened? Obviously, nah. I, I can't remember in it, but obviously, oh, so look at the CCTV. Look at the CCTV. Obviously, I saw what I did, and I did wrong to my friend. It was my friend, and obviously, we um we used to play a game like a like a slappy happy slap game. I've oh, done mm. it on Instagram, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously, it just it's a game that went too far. Like, and she said, um, I must have said to her something about, oh yeah. Yeah, haha, I told you I'd get you back. And then I started kicking my door, like, yeah. and I said, I don't remember that. Yeah. And I just remember that obviously the maintenance man come to see the, um, fix the door, but they wanted mm. to know how it was, um, how it oh, broke, and it got kicked in. So they saw that he got his film out, his camera out, and started filming. Oh, so it's him that leaked it? I don't know the guy, but I heard this from okay. an agent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Filmed it, probably sold it. Yeah, smart. Of course. That is so mad. But obviously, I regret that. That's not that's not good. Like it's a bad thing yeah, to do, yeah, isn't yeah. it? So, I mean, how I did the, how do people react to that? Because from the outside looking in, people are just seeing one, mm. obviously one part of it. People are saying obviously you touch the female. Mm. So how do, how do people react to that? Friends, like friends. how I reacted was like, raw. Is that actually me? Like that's mm. disgusting, isn't it? But like I say, like it's just it's wrong, isn't it? And I was just drunk. That's mm. why I just. Sort of settled down with the drink. I just let I let I let go of the drink. I don't really go to. So this was after the rape case, wasn't it? Just after, like I just, just beat the case. So imagine that they're thinking, like, what's going on with girls and sh mm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't look yeah. right. Yeah. Like Maybe there's quite a lot of there's a lineup. Mm. Yeah, yeah it's just thing after. F yeah, yeah. Are they all alcohol it, related or is it literally? Is it <coughs> when you get into these situations? Are you normally under the influence or at, is that now? At times I've, but there's times I've been. Um, Sober and got into trouble. So, so it's now. Yeah. So, but obviously, yeah. I've just right now I've just settled down. That like, I've just seen everything. Looked at the bigger picture and thought, right, I've got family. I've got like you know what I'm saying. It's yeah, not good yeah, for them yeah, as well. Yeah. It's not just me who gets it. It's my mum who gets it as well. Seeing mm. her son in the paper. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. Yeah, so much things, but obviously I just sat down myself and just looked in the mirror like, listen, you have to change that. Like, yeah. Of course. Of course. Tell us about the um the rape case. Like what. How did what, what happened? I mean, obviously we know that um, 
they um, found that you weren't guilty. Mm. Um, and obviously we were happy for you. Mm. Um, but we didn't know, like, we'd like to know the story from like your side. Obviously the media tell us one story mm. and it's not, always, really not always, always, yeah, it's not always the real, the real story. Mm. Of course. Um, well, <coughs> I was obviously in Newcastle and um, obviously there's lots of girls in it. I had yeah. uh, my yeah. girlfriend at the time as well living yeah. with me, but we broke up and she, um, she yeah. went, my, my girl, she <laughs> broke up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> broke up, broke up, broke up. Yeah. And then I was talking to this girl, like on my friend's phone that first, talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, Ra, I'm going to take this phone actually. Let me just keep this phone in it. Let me text her. I was texting, texting for a while. Then we met up obviously on a night out. Went back to a hotel, her house party, sort of like wherever we we had had fun, messed around yeah, being this yeah. girl. Yeah. She was cool, like I thought she was my friend or whatever. Then um, another night, I dropped her, dropped her home after that. And another night. Oh, um, so you saw her a second night? Second night again. Organised another night, went out. Long story short, we obviously went back to the to hotel, done whatever I had fun. Yeah. And then um, I left and I'm just text, I text certain things like, oh, remember to take whatever. Blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, be um, careful, you, think, you know. You think that, that <laughs> so, I don't know, I don't know, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, two days later, like, I was getting arrested. I was like, wow. Like, Did they, they come, come to your house? Come to my house. My yeah. cleaners in the house, they come to my house. Like, I was like, huh? What are you lot doing here? Like, and these times I was getting stopped for fun and everything. Like, it was just yeah, a joke. Yeah. I was like, oh, you lot are just joking, man. Can you leave my house, like, premises? Mm. No, we're serious. Like, we we're arresting you for suspicion of rape, blah, blah. I can't remember what the exact said. Like, rape, I heard rape. I said, nah, that's mad. You got yeah, the so wrong house. Like, when you heard it, do you have, like, I an got, idea of who I said, you got, oh, yeah. you got the wrong house. Or, you got the wrong house? Yeah, I said, you got the wrong house. Like, I was baffed. I was yeah. confused. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I got nicked. Then, obviously, when they got into it, I figured out, oh, it's, rah, it's her. I can't believe that. So. Have you seen her as well? I won't be the first, I won't be the last footballer. You know yeah, no, of course, yeah, it happens all the last. time. Happens, man, but it's not good. It's not good, so you have to watch out. You have to be precautious, proper. And um, did, like, the media give you a chance to say, like, once you had obviously been found yeah. not guilty, did they give you a chance uh, to say? Um, not, they asked me, do you want to say something? And my sister said, best thing is not to say nothing. Simple. He said, just don't say nothing. Did you Reinstate, agree with that? Like, write something out, pull it on your Twitter. Or whatever, but don't say nothing. And I said, yeah, right, fair enough. What did you personally want to do? Like? Yeah, I was happy with that. Obviously, uh, like there's so much, there's so much things going on in it. But obviously, I was just over the moon. Like when they said not guilty. Yeah, yeah, of course. Cut unanimous decision. Jury said not guilty. So, and it was a long week, stressful week for everyone, probably like my people. Yeah, when I said not guilty, you must have hit that drink again. <laughs> yeah, I had to, I'm not gonna lie, I had to, I had to, I had to. Well, have pa to. The paper say that he ran down the corridor screaming. <laughs> yeah, and I had an injury. I had an injury as well. It's killing me. But mm. I, obviously, just being in that sort of situation, I was in it for a whole year. The case. Like going back for Bell, Bell re the whole year, and obviously teams definitely didn't want to touch me whilst I was yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. Like I say, where I am now, Blackpool, I was, they offered me a weight, a lot more money before, mm. what I'm on now. But um, I had the ongoing case, so that he, they just held the papers there. Yeah. And when I told the, the gaffer and the chairman, oh, I'm going to um, police station on um, the following Monday, so I don't know if I'm gonna get charged or not. He held the papers when I got charged. Um, he he dropped the deal, but obviously I'm back there now. But I mean, did they continue to pay you during that period or? No, because he didn't he didn't pull it through to the FA. Like, because I went to oh, after wow. Newcastle before Swindon, I went Blackpool, oh. and they didn't go through. Then I went to Swindon. You yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swindon took the chance on me while I still had the case, and they they backed me all the way through. To be honest, so that's why I respect Swindon. Well, like, yeah, so respect Swindon. Would you, would you go a back couple to of my accumulators still. I would definitely go back, but I don't think I, I thought that opportunity is going to happen, to be honest. But I don't mind because there'll be plenty. There'll be plenty of opportunities. People think it's all run out now, but I know, I believe From you've got the talent, which mm. you, you seem like you do, there's mm. nothing stopping you. Well, you know yeah. what's stopping yeah. you, but you just need to control mm -hmm. that and then you're good. Of course. Okay, so... Sorry, man. <laughs> Coming back to... like, I'm, just, I'm, I'm here trying to live vicariously through you. Yeah. So, like, what was... Your craziest and probably best um, memory as a footballer, like when you was at your heights? Um, scoring at Stamford Bridge against Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. You guys won, right? Yeah, we won 4 3. That was a good one. Was that, what, was that the final goal? Yeah, no, nah, that was an equaliser, but I played well that game. And um, I just remembered it was my friend scored against me, Pat Van Holt, um, Patrick Van Holt. Um, he, um, I remember taking a touch of the ball and losing it. And he used to be at Newcastle as well on loans, but he just took it off me and scored. And I looked at my whole team, like, all staring at me. And I was like, oh, I was like, oh <laughs> that my must God. so mad. 
looked and I was like looking from the corner of my eye at the manager like to see the what was going on. Like I couldn't fully look, but I felt the heat. It but then like the five minutes later, seven minutes later, I scored like bam. I was like, rah, yes. like I scored against Chelsea. Like that's great at Stamford Bridge. That was a bit one of the best feelings, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, it was one of them. That sounds good. I'm even smiling yeah. just listening yeah, to it. Good. Just looking at you, I'm just good. like, rah. It's a great buzz. That Any moments crazy. that have brought you to like tears? Cause I think like a moment like that, yeah. I might, I might cry I'm quite, still. I'm built strong though. I don't really, I don't really cry like that. Yeah, yes. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Don't We're really rough. cry. I don't really cry saying? still. But <laughs> obviously, <laughs> yeah. like I said, you said that, that with that rape situation, that was a big one. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, that like the likes of Chad Evans and that. Now he can't even find it hard to find a club and stuff. Yeah. Could have went the wrong way, but like I said, the media was trying to kill me, putting my face in front of the paper and stuff. And I wasn't even, I haven't been convicted or nothing. Like, you're yes. putting my face like I have been right in front of the front paper. I mean, Who does that? Back, when you step back from football man, and you start thinking of your family and friends, mm. like, how did, how did that make you feel? Did people change up on you from hearing certain things? Did people change? Or what's, what's that? Like, in terms of the, like, the charges that were trying to be put yeah. against you? My close people, like, I don't know, you know, to be honest with other people, but my close people stood by me, stuck like, by they you. stuck by me, of course, they, they know that's just another, because they've seen it happen, like, so much players have been through it, like, these girls tell lies, mm. but what they're doing now is when these girls are telling lies, they're getting jail sentences, so, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. Gonna, it's going to be... I think when they do tell, tell a lie, I think that's fair. Man. I think yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I think they should get that as well. If you're trying to ruin someone's life, I think yes, that's, 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 that's fair. Yes, that's what has to happen. <laughs> has to, you can't be keep, like, that <coughs> accusation, it's not, it's not on, innit? Like, you can mess up a man's whole life. Exactly. Whole life, right? Before it's even begun, like, you get me? So. Do you think yeah. you have anything against females now? Like, because of all. No, nah, obviously, I got my miss. I got a missus, so I've got a missus, so it's not. I don't really. It's good. Yeah, man. Come on. <laughs> like, not like that, not the ring, but. Mm. You get me? Uh, Never know. Really better get that soon, I know, but it's <laughs> mad, isn't it? It's mad, but yeah. Do you like, see your, your son becoming a footballer just like my you? My son, I ain't got no kids. If you have a kid. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. I'll, I'll push him into it. But I'm not going to force him into it. But I'll, I'll back him. Like, I'll yeah, be so, yeah, surely you got the links now, obviously. Yeah, of course. So, but yeah. obviously, like I say, I'll just push him into it and, and tell him not to go down the road I did. So yeah. even though I'm, I say it like I finish, I retire, I'm not finished. Like Things will get good again, but... 24, just 24. turned. Yeah, still, yeah, still got, very young. Still yeah, but it goes quick. I remember when I was 18, doing what I was doing, and champs like flashing. Like, Maybe you needed to take a break. Would you say you started at 13? Mm. 11. So that's a very, very. Was it 11? 11, 12. Yeah. Yeah, it's over yeah. 10 years. But when you get turned professional, that's your life now. Like mm. that's what I'm saying. Day, so every day, that's. But mm. obviously, doing what you love, it's good. But yeah. if you full of love of it, it's a bit mad. So if um. God forbid things don't turn out for you in mm. in football. Like, what's the next option? Life after football. Because I'm thinking, probably, he's probably, probably like a uh, ASAP Rocky lookalike. No, <laughs> <laughs> mate, <laughs> none of that. I'm thinking little way. Definitely could run that. None of that. Yeah, few people say that, but nah, man, I'm better looking, man. Trust <laughs> me. But like I say, no, I just need to. Just, <laughs> I, need, <laughs> I need to get focused again, innit? Like, it's not finished, man. It's 24, and there's big things to come. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, so. Have faith. So how good is the actual football stand? Because you've got a lot of ballers that play football that mm. they think, I can, I can play whatever you're playing. Is it, people how can, people, is the difference? People can say a lot, like when they're not, they don't cross that line, they can say, yeah, he's crap, he's this and that. But when you cross that line, you're in the game, like, you know, like, in Prem, it was fast, like, but it was, it was, like, you had time to do things, but you make, you had to make sure you do it properly because... Everyone's on point. Everyone knows what they're doing. Experience. With championship, it was just tough. It's tough. Championship, rough. I mean, when Gritty. I watch both, when I watch both types of football, like the Premiership and the Championship, Championship seems a lot of crossing, mm. a lot of long shots. When it comes to Premiership, it's more one. Like tiki taka sort yeah. of, yeah. Mm. I never knew there was a difference. I thought like. I mean, that's the difference I the see. I mean, creative, you, creative you more see creative. Same? They got better players, obviously. That's mm. why in the Premiership yeah. they're creative. You can get, they can get goals from nothing. But obviously, like I say, dude, the championship is more long ball. Mm. It's more long ball and just scraps, yeah. basically, trying to get goals. Who's but the best player you've ever played up against? Or who, who there's a few, against? man. There's a few. Played with or played against? No, but yeah, played against. Defender? Yeah, let's go defender. Um, Vidic. Yeah. And company, they're strong. Yeah, so strong. Companies. Built strong, like, just different. Like an ox. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Proper. Have you ever considered playing abroad? People say that, but not yet. 
Why nah. not yet? What, what are you Just waiting not for? Yet. Nah, I'm not ready. When would you know if you're ready? I couldn't give you an answer for that one. I don't think I'll be ready, but you never know, and you never know. The right club could come, and then God, next thing you know, I'm abroad. So, <laughs> but I doubt it for now. I can't see it for now. I can't see that for now. No. You might think I could play there abroad, or it's not even crossed your mind frame. No, it ain't crossed my mind. Not even, I ain't giving it a chance to even cross my mind. Why though? Why is it? Just not. If you went it. to a hot country like Brazil, I'm or talking about. Sorry, gone. Sorry, go on. You go. On. No, I was thinking like, um, if I can't stay, even though I'd want to, if I can't stay, Blackpool's three hours away. Like, mm. then it's abroad. I was just thinking that's madness. I like I like coming home to see family, and when I can just get in my car and drive down to my family abroad. I have to book a ticket. That's, it's not for me. Not right now. Isn't that better though? Isn't that because obviously it means that yes, yeah, all you've got is football. You get a chance focus. to start again. Yeah, you don't true. have like the friends to mess that, around with. Like, you're right yeah. with that. You're right with that point. But I can't see it for now. But it's true. It's in. So you see, in all your experiences, is there anything you felt that I should have changed and I shouldn't have possibly done this or I shouldn't have been there or mm. any, any regrets? Um. Newcastle, like I said, I could have done that better. In terms of how, like, how I dealt like with situations, I could have conducted myself better. I could have just been more professional. Yeah, Newcastle, that's it, really. Good so, stuff. Uh, Thanks for coming on the show. Um, pleasure, yeah, man, we pleasure. hope that going forward we get to see you on TV and you know, yeah, mean, playing I really for our favourite teams. You. We need a shirt, man. Need Hopefully, shirt. man. When you're ready, I've got shirts, man. When yeah. you're ready, man. Of course. No, I'll arrange our straight, no chase. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah.